<laughs> He's back. viewers welcome back to glory hunter where he has returned you love him i love him it's savior kabai oh god's sake i need an attacking midfielder he's the only he's the only one that would join and uh he is really good his current ability you know he's really good he is look at him he's really good and he's having a good year you know at leipzig five goals eight assists 7.38 his best season of his career it'd be a shame if someone had to ruin it wouldn't it no i'm excited i think this is going to be really good for me and valencia and hopefully valencia he's had decent loan spells zebra palmer yeah it didn't work out in the early days of leipzig but he's a new man now he's older he's mature 25 Welcome. Well, let's see you see the goalkeeper situation. So a lot of you are saying, bring in a goalkeeper, Ben. Bring in a man that's going to revolutionise this side. And well, I brought in, I brought in this guy. He's pretty good. Now, look, it's, it's maybe a bit harsh on him because of how good Gabe is. Everyone else, we've talked about this before. Everyone else isn't particularly good. Kelvin and Graham sort of stands at his own two feet. He is fantastic. And look, the fact that Kabai is a four-star player in this sort of team, alongside the likes of Zeno. It's pretty good. And goalkeeper-wise, look, we've been playing in between. Rios has played a little bit. And, of course, then Radu has played a little bit. The R&R &R connection, as I've been calling them. Well, we've we've rustled that a little bit. Ramon Solherio. Ah, Ramon, probably. He's been brought in uh, for £28 million from Celtic, where he's been tested. To, uh, well, he's been at Celtic. 15 clean sheets in 24. He's used to keeping them. It's the Scottish Premier, Ben. Don't worry about where. Worry about how. Uh, so he and Kavai will make their debuts for me today. And I've got to say, overall, the 11 is better. We're stronger for this. And that's the takeaway that I'm choosing to to take. Zeno's not going to be able to play today, is he? Uh, we're playing Sevilla in the Cup, but there's been a couple of games since we last met. So, since we last played, uh, you can see there then 3-1, Levante 0-0 so, uh, Sashi Dad, uh, Zaragoza was a 2-1, and then Osasuna was a 1-0 victory as well. But this was the key one, really. The 2-1 victory over Zaragoza. They scored really, really late. I thought we were in, like, cruise. I was loving it. I was not making any changes, doing the things I like to do, and uh, they scored in 84 minutes, and I panicked a lot. And just, again, sort of froze rather than panicked. The way I sort of manage, isn't it? I just freeze. So, Tavir today in the fifth round, and uh, the cup looks like this then. I thought to come Madrid play Sashi Dad in the biggest game of the tournament. Uh, we've got Real Madrid play, facing Gijon. We've got Getafe versus Barcelona. If things go as expected, uh, look, Atletico, Real Sashi Dad, massive game. Ourselves versus Sevilla, massive game. And uh, the Spanish Cup, though, is there to be won, I think. Of course, the league is very, very close as well. We are level on points with Real Madrid, but. It doesn't matter because of how close it is. That top five now. Sashi's had a fallen away just a little bit. It feels like it's a top five. Barcelona, Sevilla, Atletico Madrid, ourselves in Madrid. But it's so, man, it's so close. Look at it. Maybe I've brought in some players that are going to take us over the line. I'm sure you'll have your own thoughts on Xavier Cabay. Everyone deserves a second chance, viewers. Let's see if he's going to make the most of his. I hope he does. I really hope he does. I spent most of the transfer window, most of the right since we last met, looking at, well, not looking at loan listed. That was a desperate moment for me towards the end. But no, looking at goalkeepers, the four I wanted really were the only four that I felt would maybe come to me if they got absolutely desperate. Uh, Aiden, of course, that we had at Arsenal. Kickwolf that we had at Inter. And Aidy Beck that we had at England, of course, plays for United as well. Uh, Chiaro Mosquera, he was really good too. But yeah, Kickwolf was the one I really pushed for. Disappointed he wasn't able to join in the end. I probably put in, I would say, 23 bids for him, uh, all of which were rejected. But up to 90 million, they were just having none of it. I was trying to sort it. They just, no, they were no. But he's still really good. So it makes me a bit sad. Maybe we'll see him again in the future. Who knows? He, he clearly wants out of Inter because I've tried to force it. I do think Ramon, who's come in, is, is pretty good. He signed a backup contract, although he's not going to be the backup. He's going to be our first choice. Great handling, great one-on-ones, passing, reflexes, concentration, decision-making, determination. And the best part of all, really, he's fluent in Spanish already. So we don't have to teach him that. So he should know uh, what's what. And he should be okay. Yeah, other nationalities are Spanish, so he should be fine. I'm confident. I am confident that he's, he's going to be good for us this year. I think he's an upgrade on what we've got. Sure, we've had to go out and spend, what was it, 28 million on him? But probably worth it. And he's played in Spain before, so that's that's good too. Hence, he's probably got his nationality from doing that. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the only disappointment for us today is that Vargas is going to sit out. Quite a few bits came in for him late doors, but Ribeiro is going to move out to that right-hand side, which means uh, Velez and Shelton will recover their partnership that has always been lost this season. Sanchez at left-back, of course, as always. Dimitri and Nguyen in the centre. Uh, Zeno, we're not too sure. We'll get to the Wednesday. I don't know if he's going to be fit enough for this. If not, Bogdanovic comes in. 
but the window has slammed shut. All the money's been spent, and uh, now we have to hope that these boys do the business. The transfer window top spenders, uh, you can see there, Valencia, which I, mean, I, I didn't think that would be me, although shout out to the boys in China who have just gone ridiculous. Two boys off me, uh, Vona from a a Atalanta, who's really good as well. Atalanta, is it Atalanta? Yeah. So they've gone busy, and um, yeah, shout out to them for giving me loads of money. There he is though, Xavier Kabai, welcome to Valencia, hashtag Valen. I don't think that's what it would be. I'm pleased to have, I'm pleased to have got him, yeah. Very happy. I think he'll be great. And Roman as well. Yeah, both are going to be good. Ramon, it must be. Kabai will play in behind the striker. The only person that's disappointed about all this is Akiza, but I'm going to show you something in a moment and you're going to say, yeah, fair enough. A few people saying we've overspent here, viewers. I don't know. It seems like rubbish to me. So there were some key attributes that I looked for when eventually deciding to get him in. A lot of them physical. I've got to be honest, I wanted someone with a little bit more pace in the final third. And I feel like that is what Kabai gives me again. Agility slightly higher. Mentally, Akiz is really good. And, and by no means would just be not part of my plans anymore. I just wanted someone who was a little bit better in those forward areas. You look at some of the positives that he's got here. Heading, not so worried about fish, uh, f f fishing. They're both very good at fishing. But no, dribbling is slightly better for Kabai again. So moving with the ball, I expect it to be slightly better. Uh, getting in behind, getting to those spaces, that's key. Technically and passing-wise, they're pretty similar. And again, mentally, not too dissimilar from one another. But I do think bringing in a player and that little bit of extra pace, that little bit of extra agility, that could be the difference in the final half of the season. And that's why he's been brought in for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, too much money. And the big thing for me, really, is he's better than Biaz. And to, to sell Omar Biaz, it was fine to do if you're going to bring in Kabai for a, essentially six million more. So the blue on this occasion are Kabai. You can see they're just across the board. Slightly better for the role that we've got him in. Again, those physical attributes key for me. All right, then. Let's play Sevilla, as I've tried to justify the Kabai signing at least three different ways now. If you think these signings are controversial, watch the Newcastle episode tomorrow. Hmm... I've already announced that I've signed Wayne Rooney in that one. So, <laughs> it's getting interesting. I can't register all of the people all of the time, viewers. Uh, some of these boys aren't going to be able to be registered. Some players are missing out here. The likes of Latario Martinez. I need to... No, hang on. I need to register Kabai here. I can't not register Kabai for the Champions League. Although, the reality is, it doesn't really matter. I can only make... I can only make a... I, I don't know what... There must be a rule here. But I can only bring in three extra players... So I can have a maximum of three replacements, which means I can't have Diallo, but I can only have... So, I can only, so I'm going to get my goalkeeper and Gwem and Kabai, and Diallo just can't even be in the... Oh, for, this has gone well, viewers. Braganka has to sit out as well. Oh, this is a bit of a nightmare. All right, well, the Champions League's been decided. Those players aren't going to be happy. I look forward to them being annoyed about not being included. There they are. Uh, mate, I only had so many spaces, mate. I might just say I might just say it was an accident, and he, he'll be fine with that. Right. You see, I'm sorry, mate. And the brank... Uh, yeah, so, it's just... It was a total accident. It's an error on my part. Oh. They'll, yeah. Just, just lie to them, Ben. Just lie to your players. That's fine. I'll put them in at the next available opportunity next season. All right, then. Cup action. This should be good fun. Zeno, not really fit enough to play. And actually, I'll cheer Diallo up. I'll play him out on that right-hand side. Um, will I? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Don't sound confident about it, Ben. No, I am. I am. Hopefully, he does the business again. Vargas missing out as uh, you can see the team there then. Uh, they're ready for action. Let's waste no further time. Let's. Um, I'm just letting you digest these signings, really. Just... Be okay with it, please. Just be, all be okay with it. I've never spent longer looking for two players and then ending up just settling for two players that will think will be slight improvements despite not being major improvements. But in a season where we're quite close in lots of things, it was a necessity. Uh, I will say, I've played to be a few times uh, in this save so far. They always seem to get the best of me, it feels like. I feel weirdly nervous about it. <sighs> we've, literally just, we've literally just started. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. They've scored. I wasn't ready. Zessi's ball in. They've... They've scored after a minute, viewers. It's a good start to today's episode, isn't it? It's a really good start. Really happy start. All right, from the off, we're not going to waste any time. I'll go more attacking, and um, we've got to try and win this. So far, viewers, not my best work, is it? No. All right, let's just see. Let's let's be confident. Let's hope that we can turn this round. Someone turn this round. It, it'd be nice, I think. We're wearing the black today, by the way. It'd be nice if, I think, if Kabai had a major impact on today's events. They're taking their time, Severo. They, they are knocking it round. And uh, trying to frustrate me. And so far, viewers, working. And Graham's already on a booking as well, I noticed. Which is probably going to be really great towards the end of this game. As they're forward again. They could be ruining my Spanish Cup chances within an instant here, viewers. That would have been bad. Now, obviously, this is still on our list. And I'll show you the graphic at the end of today's episode of what we still need to win. But, um, yeah, this is... 
Obviously not ideal. Hang on, there's been nothing going on. Literally nothing has happened. All right, I know, I know the move I'm going to make. At half time, it stays like this. Diallo's going to push further forward again. A move I like to make very, very often. We're going to do it on that side this time. And um, yeah, we're going to see, see a little bit more from the players behind them. Going to swap Dimitri in and Graham Round and see if that has any impact. Might move Kabay over a little bit. No, I'll keep him through the middle. Do you know what I might do, actually? I'm thinking more about this. I'm bringing Bogdanovic on for Diallo. We're putting him back there. Attacking winger, come on. I think we can go to a more attacking system later on if we need to. We can even bring Zeno on if we feel like he'll be a, a, an impact maker within the last 10, 15 minutes. We're going, we've gone attack. Look, oh, I'm just saying words, viewers. I can't believe we're not winning. Come on, we need to we need to get something from this. Half an hour to go. I've seen one highlight at the start. And I d you didn't even see it, viewers, because I was just looking in different directions, just thinking, right, what next? Half an hour to go, and it's continuing like this. I'm going to have to keep demanding more. At some point, right, we're going to have to make a switch. I can't take it. I can't bring a keys around for, for goodbye. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm just not going to... What have I just done? Ah, oh, it's happened now. It's happened. Don't make an impact. Just... I, oh, God. I'm now rooting against myself, viewers. 15 minutes to go. Does anyone want to do a highlight? We'll go more direct. We'll play slightly quicker. We'll even play slightly wider. 10 minutes to go. Does someone want to have a highlight? I'm not having this. This is the worst way to exit a cup. Right, hang on. We've got to do something else here. Zeno on. I've had now three players playing that position today, viewers. I've got to, I've got to risk him. With five minutes to go, surely not like this. There's not been a single highlight. It's, this isn't very... I don't think this is very... I'll be honest, gang. I don't think this is very realistic. As we're continuing for... Hello. This could... Uh, right, long throw. Zeno in. Akiza. Are you kidding me? I don't... Uh, Oh, viewers, I've spent 78, 76, was it? 76. He's banged one in. Of course he has. It's 1-1. One, one. I can't believe it. Even when I make big signings, I get punished by one of the best goals of all time. So, whatever. <sighs> I thought we were out of the Spanish Cup. I thought we were out. And we're not out. Right. Zeno's not really fit for this. The rest of the boys are exhausted. I don't think I get a fourth sub, do I? No, that's not a rule here. I need, I need Philip to do this. Philip's doing nothing, by the way. Philip is going to have to change roles because Philip can't do this. Deep line forward on attack. Philip, we'll try anything, mate. Do whatever you want. It's now severe, though, with more of the ball. We've hung on right at the very end, but now they're forward again. Douglas, Wilson, he's run off the ball. Akiza again. Don't have a major impact. I just, just you know, you've scored your goal. He's played a beautiful ball to Gabe, who's in, and it should have maybe been 2-1 Valencia. He's rescued this, Akiza. He's rescued this. He's seen that Kabaya's come in. He saw that he was dropped and immediately figured, well, I better start putting, get him out together. Putting in performances, putting shifts in that, you know, produce big moments. What's he done there? Okay. Um, I can't. I actually can't believe he wrestled that back. It was the most boring game of football ever. Right, I know you can't really play. Com complete forward. Can you, be in can you completely be involved? Do you know how much I've spent on you for big moments and big occasions? Because right now I'm not really seeing a return on the money, mate. As, as, half time's been and gone. They're down to 10 men. That might be the one little thing we need... I mean, it's a bit filth. It might be the one thing we need to push us over the line. As so I really want to go... To, right, two minutes to go. Attacking, is it probably... No, it's penalty. This is what I wanted, viewers. New goalkeeper, chance to impress. We are so bad at penalties. It is... The, it's pretty horrifying. All right, the boys are out there. They want it. They're ready. We'll go to three dimensions. Of course we will. As uh, do we go to director camera, do we go vertical? I think we go vertical scroll, and it adds to the tension, viewers. As um, right here we go. Are we going to win the penalty shootout? It's not a good start. They're one nil up. All right, Gabe, you've had a, the quietest of games, and now it's a chance for you to make your mark in the game. He scored. That's all that matters. Melendez. With a goal, with a shot for them now. As uh, Ramon, you can't even see his name. I feel, I don't, so, oh, what a save! He's the best keeper of all time. I didn't really need him to be the hero today. I didn't th think that would be the case. As Nguem now has got to score and does smash his home. And we've got an advantage here, viewers. Ramon, do it again, mate. Ramon, Ramon. It's like sort of a come on. It's uh, it's, it's uh, we've got to score. Zeno, come on. Not in his best condition for this game, but he played his part. And can he score his penalty? He can. Right, come on. This is getting better now. Here we go. Brad Book. Uh, sorry, Brad Brook stepping up for Sevilla. That big save could be had it. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. Now, this goal could be huge. It's not It's not the decider, but score it. And you put a lot of pressure on the next taker for Sevilla. He's popped it home. And they've got to score now. Save it, Ramon. And we are through to the semi-finals. Goodness me. Goodness me. And then, uh, he's got. To, otherwise, if they score, we get a chance to score to win. Lara stepping up for Sevilla, and uh, it could be his moment right now. It's not his moment right now. Uh, who's who's this? Oh, I, I think it's a keezer. I think I think I put a keezer on it. It's a score to win moment, 
after I've bought someone for £76 million pounds to replace him. He scored the goal to keep us in it, and now he could score the goal to help us win it. It's Akiza. Don't do this, mate. Please. I mean, do do it. Akiza scores the goal, celebrates wildly, runs up. They're, they're the boys down the bottom. And Valencia, by the skin of their teeth, go through to the next round. Drama, viewers. Drama. Unbelievable scenes. Well done, lads. A good win. A stressful win, but a win. And that's the most important bit of all of this. As Barcelona go through, Real Madrid go through, Atletico Madrid go through, as to be expected. And um, the semi finals have got some big hitters in there, and we're in it. Flipping heck. Right. Okay. We're still involved, just about. Still involved. Oh, my God. Sevilla can't believe it. They've scored. They've held on for the whole game. We've scored late, late doors. The latest of doors, viewers. Uh, the door was so late. And now we're in a position where we are through. And the uh, the semi-final draw is coming up now. Here we are then. The semi-final. Who will we face off against? There's not really a good team to face here. Then again, it's probably Atletico Madrid based on this season. And there we go then. We will play them in the semi-finals. I don't know if it's two legs or one leg. Um, I, think it, I think it's one leg, but I could be wrong. We'll just check this here. It is two legs. Okay, two legs against them. And uh, the first of which is pretty soon. I think because of how important this, uh, important this cup campaign is, we will do both of those games next episode as uh, yeah, things are getting quite exciting. With love with care then. Forget to mention until next time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Enjoyed it? Like it. See you tomorrow. Oh, my word. Actually, no, Monday. Monday. Newcastle tomorrow. See you on Monday.